Hey guys, I am the Knight, and today I will be reviewing Interstellar. And I'm going to give a spoiler warning because this review will contain some spoilers as um, the movie's already out on DVD. Uh, you can get it on Redbox, stream it on Netflix, so you can basically just watch it. So there will be maybe not a whole lot of spoilers, but just maybe it's just a little bit. So Interstellar stars Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, Jessica Chastain, Michael Caine, Casey Affleck, uh, Topher Grace. So basically in Interstellar, the world is dying. There's a whole bunch of dust and um, there's these big dust storms. And basically, our most of our only food, like the world needs a lot of farmers, so we have mostly have crops, and uh, most people are eating crops. And basically, uh, NASA sends Cooper, well, M Matthew McConaughey's character, up into space to look for a new world. So guys, personally, I love this movie. This movie was just amazing. Like, the plot of the movie just really had you on the end edge of your seat. It was just like, wow, there was so much tension. And just the visuals, the visuals were just amazing. They didn't, in most of the CGI, you know that, you can tell like, yeah, they had to do that with CGI, but it didn't feel like CGI, it looked real. It, like, you can tell, wow, maybe it, like, it looks like they're actually there. The scenes in space are just beautiful, man. Like, you know, where you see the black hole and everything. It's just amazing. And then I like how it makes you feel like when there's scenes in the spaceship, it makes you feel like you're on on the with the ride. It makes you feel like you're there, you know? It just feels so real. And the actors in this movie, they all did a very good job. No one stood out as bad to me. Uh, Matthew McConaughey did great, Jessica Chastain did great, Anne Hathaway did great, everyone did great in this movie. So the only minor gripes I have about this movie is that at the end of the movie, kind of felt like everything was like, like all wrapped up too perfectly. I could have like maybe preferred an ending where like it kind of left you thinking a little bit. I would have preferred that, but it's not like a huge problem I have with the movie. Matt Damon's character, basically, I wasn't clear. I was a little confused on his motives for what he did. And um, that's basically um, my slight problems with this movie. Overall, this movie was great. To me, it was a masterpiece. I, I love this movie. And the score, the score of this movie, props to Hans Zimmer. I mean, like, man, it was just... It, it felt and like in some scenes like where he's trying to spin the spaceship to connect to the the station it, like it just like the music right there just make it felt so intense and like wow there's just props to Hans Zimmer it was also very directed very well I mean like Christopher Nolan he did a great job as always he hasn't made a bad movie to date and he he did a really good job so yeah props to everyone props to Christopher Nolan all the actors Jonathan Nolan and Hans Zimmer, like, props to everyone who was involved in making this movie. So yeah, my fellow knights, that's all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button down below if you like this video, as it shows me some support. And if you want to see more reviews from me, as I do have more reviews coming up, and other, like, thoughts videos that I have, sometimes I'm doing tutorial videos. If you want to see more videos from me, basically, in general, please subscribe as it shows me even more support. Thank you very much for watching. I am the Knight, and I'll see you guys in another video.